Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, first of all, how are we all doing? Hope everybody's well. Um, I took a couple of days off, just that's why we've had a little bit of a delay in the uploads to YouTube, but I'm back, which is <laughs> all good. Um, now, I just was a little bit, I've done like so much content creating and things, and I just felt a little bit tired creatively. So I thought, you know what? Just gonna have a break and have a couple of days off. And then I had my couple of days, then I tried to film, and then it felt like the whole neighborhood was having a party outside. So I was just like, uh. so then that delayed me for another two days because it seemed like every single day when I went to film, people were just having a party. So it is now, what time is it? It's 7.30 a.m. So I was like, I'm gonna get up early and try and film before anybody gets up basically. And then that way, if the neighborhood decides to have a party on day three, I feel my contents are all is good. But yeah, you see by the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing a sunset eye tutorial. And that's basically because on Instagram, I was like, hey, like, what do you want? I wanna do a rainbow and a sunset eye. Which do you want first? And everyone voted for a sunset eye. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and then you'll be able to like participate in the voting that I put up on my story to decide like what videos we're doing. But we're gonna be doing a dedicated eye tutorial, which means I'm gonna go off camera in a minute, do my base, do all that stuff, and we're gonna be dedicating this video just to an eye look so we can really go into depth. And then, you know how I normally flash up the products and the price, I'm gonna be doing that as well, but we're gonna be flashing up the brushes so you know exactly what brush I'm doing, and I'll be putting like a little picture of the brush so you can see the shape of it and all that, so yeah. So I'm gonna stop waffling, I'm gonna quickly go jump in the shower, shave, cleanse my skin, get my base on and everything, and then I'll be back and we can start on this island. Just finished my base, put my brows on, and now we've got like a nice lid space to work with. And for the sunset eye shape that I wanna create, like I wanna do this super like winged out, really deep sunset colors here, fading up, a nice little buff of colors near the brow, call it a day. So I'm gonna use tape, and I wanna use tape because it makes it easier to blend like now to help with the stickiness of the tape like here's my piece of tape to help with it to stop it from being so sticky i just stick it to my body first then it takes all the stickiness off and then you can just literally line it up where you want it now the first step i'm going to take my p louise zero one base and put it on the back of my hand pick it up with a fluffy brush and this one is a pc 10 I'm just gonna slightly diffuse this into the front of the eye and just blend it down onto the lid. So we have a light tackiness, but nothing too crazy. Step number two, I'm gonna take the P. Louise Acid Rain paint in the shade Raver, and it's like this hot pink color you can see here. And I'm just gonna start building up some of this color in this outer V portion here to kind of set a base for my darker colors. And I'm just taking this on a ColourPop E1 brush, which looks just like this. And I'm just picking up the tiniest amount. And you can just see how easy it blends out. So I'm gonna be using the P. Louise eyeshadow palette and it looks like this. How cute is this? It has like these little feathers encased in the plastic here. And then on the inside, it looks like this. We're gonna use the purple, the pink, the orange, and the yellow. Those are the only colors that you will need for this eye look. On a Morphe 433, I'm gonna pick up the purple shade and start buffing it into my outer corner. And all I'm doing is I'm kind of just like patting it, like stamping it in, like stamping it in and then just kind of like fluffing the edges out with the tips of the bristles. And then because we already put that pink base down, can you see how it's like the purple's blending itself out all, like bleh, the purple's blending itself out already. So now that that's placed and it's like nice and diffused already, we're just gonna go back in and we're gonna really pack on the purple here to really deepen up that outer V. Like that. And now we're gonna go in with the hot pink and we're gonna start diffusing out the top part and onto the eyelid. So now I'm taking a Kit Stars S30 small tapered blending brush like this, and we pick up the hot pink, and we're just gonna start diffusing out the outer edge. So I'm just gonna start putting the color in here, 
and then working it forward and I'm just doing it in like nice circular motions. And can you just see how that just like blends together like so easily? With the same brush, I'm gonna build up some of this pink on my inner corner here and start building that into my bridge nose and then eventually we'll blend up into the front of the brow. Now one of my favorite small brushes is the My Kiko Pro My Detailing Smudge and it's the 1.13 and it's this tiny, tiny pencil brush. I'm gonna pick up the pink on that shade again and really define my socket line. Now we're gonna use a Peaches PC47. It's this tiny, tiny blending brush. It's my, one of my favorite mini light blenders. And we're gonna take the orange and we're gonna start buffing in some orange in here and then a little bit through here as well. And you wanna start off with really small amounts on your brush and just kind of start working the product in in like really small circular motions. Now you don't have to put as much orange in as you think because when you put the yellow in, the yellow and the pink will mix and make an orange in the blend anyway. I decided to put a little bit in just so it gives it a bit more depth to it. But again, if you struggle blending, just do purple, pink and yellow and the pink and the yellow will make an orange. Now let's add a little bit, I cannot speak today. Let's add the yellow and I'm gonna use a MAC 221. It's really old, you can't even see the writing on it, but it's just this nice domed brush. And I'm gonna start buffing out all the edges here with the yellow all in here and all in here. And because it's like a quite a fun look with lots of color, if you do go quite up close to the eyebrow, like it's fine, but just try and keep the blending as close on top of the orange as you can. With that, and you can just kind of see now all the beautiful colors like really coming together. And all you're gonna do now is you're just gonna use the same brushes and you're just gonna go back and forth and deepen up areas. If you're happy with it, leave it. You can move on to the next step, which is gonna be the crease. But I'm just gonna go over and just quickly tweak some bits. I'm gonna add a bit more pink in here, a bit more purple depth, a bit more pink here, and then I think I'll be done. Now, for my shimmer on my brow bone, I'm gonna use the Jouer Ice Highlighter, and it's just like this white highlighter, but it actually, when you swatch it, you can just see it's like white, but it's got like a goldy pink reflect. So I'm just gonna use that and put it all under my brow bone, and I'm gonna use the Peaches PC47 brush. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping the product here like heavily here and then tapering it out and then slightly blink like bringing it down into my crease ever so slightly and that just kind of gives you this beautiful glossy sheen and it kind of breaks your crease up a little bit so it's like dramatic but it like softens it now i want to do the same blending here so i want to do like purple pink orange yellow white on the inner corner so i'm just gonna but i don't want it to like a cut crease when it's like soft so i'm going to use my blank canvas by p louise and I'm just picking it up on that same brush that we used to apply the original eyeshadow base, which is the Peaches PC10. I'm just gonna pat this all over the lid to get the lid nice and blank, like a blank canvas, like the product says, just so that it's easy to blend all the colors. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just pat the edge together with the purple of my crease, just so it's nice and soft. And then we're just gonna work our way across the lid. So we're gonna start with the pink and we're gonna use exactly the same brushes that we use to apply all the colors um, just to blend them across the lid. And I'm just gonna pick up the pink and pat that in here. And 
and then I'm lightly dragging the pink a bit further out than I want because instead of putting the orange on, I'm going to just go in with my yellow and then I'll make my own orange in the centre. Now I'm going in with my MAC 221 brush and the yellow and I'm going to start just patting on the yellow. And can you just see like it's created like an orange hue there? That's because I don't want to actually use an orange to like take up too much space. So I can actually just minimize, well not minimize, maximize my space by blending two colors to create one color like that. And then what we're gonna do is instead of using a white, I'm just gonna use that same highlighter and put it all on that inner corner area. And for this, I'm gonna use an N32 shader from Kit Stars. And I'm just gonna really kind of saturate my brush and you can see it's like my brush is coated with that product and then we can really just pack it all onto that inner corner and you just see how it makes it like nice and bright <gasps> so pretty because i can't resist i'm gonna add some glitter but i only want to add the tiniest bit and i'm gonna use the shade ziggy stardust which is this yellow glitter here from lit cosmetics and i'm just gonna pop that on here like on the yellow part here and like nowhere else and i'm just going to use the nyx glitter primer and i'm just going to pop the tiniest part of that on the back of my hand and i mean like the tiniest amount warm it into the back of my hand with my finger so by warming it in i just mean rubbing it around like that so it's nice and tacky and i'm just gonna pop that on my lid and then i'm just gonna pick up the yellow glitter which is on my finger here and then just Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. And then I've just pat it ever so slightly up into my socket line there and a little bit into my highlight just so it gives it an extra magical sparkle. Now I'm going to use my House Labs liquid liner and do a tiny little eyeliner up to the purple here and then I'm going to smoke it out with some black eyeshadow. Then this is one of the most precise brushes that's, oh my God, it's so insane. This is the Peaches PC33 and it's this tiny, tiny pencil brush. Look how small that is. I'm gonna take a little bit of black eyeshadow from my Stacey Marie Carnival palette and I'm just gonna smoke this out into the purple. Now we can remove the tip and we can do the lower lash line. So I just used this PC46 tiny liner brush to map out like my inner corner eyeliner, which I'm gonna do. I've just done that because I like to make sure it's gonna be perfect, so I map it out first. But then we're just gonna smoke some purple, some pink, and then some yellow underneath. And I'm just gonna use the 240 Lux Petite pencil from Zoeva. It's just this tiny little brush like this. And again, we're just gonna do the same thing we did here, but very gently underneath. And then to blend out the yellow, I'm gonna use the PC47, this nice little fluffy blender, just to really smoke out the yellow underneath. So I was just kind of like adding all the finishing touches to my makeup so I could come back on and show you like the finished look. And then I was like, this was the first time I've used this highlighter in this video. So I was like, it looked really nice here. So I was like, why do we use it on the cheeks together for the first time and kind of just see what it's like? So here we go. Oh my God. Oh, it looks wet. <gasps> so I'm gonna quickly go off camera, finish everything off, and then I'll be back with the final look. And here's the finished makeup look. I literally just added on my usual final touches off camera and I chucked on 
my Elliot Times Idol lashes, which are these beautiful ones here. And I did the little inner corner trick again for my little spiky bit on the bottom. But like, look how beautiful they make your eyes look. <laughs> but yeah, what do we think of the makeup look? I'm, I really am loving this kind of more sharper, severe eye that I've been doing recently. And especially with the sunset colors, it really gives that like smoky sunset vibe, which I'm living for. Um, I guess that's it. So let me know in the comments down below what videos you want to see, the usual drill. But also let me know if you like this um, doing the eyes without doing the rest of the base. And then obviously I know I can keep doing that in other videos. If not, we can do a full transformation if that's what you like. But I must say it's nicer for me and a little bit easier if we do just the eyes. It's less to film. But obviously you watch the contents if you want a full transformation. We'll do a full transformation. But yeah, I guess that's it. And then that being that concludes today's video. So if you like the video, don't get me. <laughs> Let's do that again. So I guess that concludes today's video. So if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, let me know in the comments what you thought of today's video and what other videos you would like to see. And I guess that's it. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.